Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. No, Coffee Craft. <laughs> Take two. Welcome to Games Revisited with your host, Anon Jr. Coffee Craft was this past Tuesday, and it will be again next Tuesday. <laughs> oh. I, I, I guess uh, I guess I do need a little coffee then. <laughs> has been a silly week okay <laughs> let's uh let's get ready to jump right in because we last week we went through all the different sith trials and tribulations and we we did all the all the favor quests only to find out we only needed to do like two maybe three of them but hey we saw them all we saw we saw a way to do them all and maintain your light side if that's your thing that is what we're trying to do here on this run through of uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And so we should be doing our final test. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, we should be doing our final test uh, depending on how things play out, depending on how things go. This might take most of the stream, this might not. If we have time, we're going to head on over to the Yavin station to uh, gear up because this is going to be our last star map. I know that there is a surprise that's going to take a little bit of time in between when we leave here and when we get to the Star Forge for the finale. So we're probably looking at at least two, possibly three more weeks for Season 1. At least two, possibly three more weeks for Season 1. Mm. And then we get to do something different. Uh, I, I may actually do one more episode at the end of all this, kind of. Uh, or maybe it'll be something I post to my second channel, haven't decided which yet. Uh, kind of deconstructing how things went, lessons learned, and uh, things that will probably change for Season 2. Now for Season 2, I've got a couple of games that I'm thinking of doing, and it's going to dial up the Wayback Machine even further than Knights of the Old Republic did. And uh, I got to make sure that I've got the cartridges somewhere. <laughs> but <clears throat> uh, enough of the chatter. On with the game. Load. So um, I'm 90% sure we went to the ship. Yes, we went to the ship. Uh, everything is as crafted as it's going to be. It is time to make our way. Who do we want? Um... We definitely want Jihani, because A, having a butt-kicking Jedi is always a good option. And I'm not entirely sure we finished her her little side quest. You know, we did everything, we did everything that Kandoris needed to do. Uh, we follow, talked to him, talked to him, talked to him, followed him all the way through until the final little confrontation on Tatooine. Uh, last week, last week or the week before, one of those two, we finished up Karth's little side quest thingy. We talked to him until we finally found out about his son. We took care of his son, HK. We, we've done all the side questing. We've recovered all the memories and the last one came at the big reveal that we were Darth Varvin and he was our assassin robot. Um... I thought we had done everything for Jolie, but now I'm not. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure. So we might add him just because we need to do a little more uh, XP gathering with him to unlock the final bit if we haven't already. So we we might take him. Also, having a butt kicking Jedi at your side will certainly be helpful. Um. But just to kind of complete the roundup, we've gone through Mission's whole side quest with her brother and taken care of that. He promises us he'll be back at Tatooine, but we've checked a couple of times on camera. We've checked a few more times off camera, and I can't find the dude, so I'm pretty sure the credits are gone. And that's the way it goes. Uh, T3 has absolutely no side quests whatsoever. He's our handy-dandy little Swiss Army knife on wheels. And, uh, yeah, okay, that works. And Zalbar, we finished up all his stuff. That happened while we went through Kashyyyk, and it looks like the only way you're going to get any... Uh, 
any of his side questing stuff done is when you get to Kashyyyk. Um, so if you're looking to try to unlock that sooner or you're trying to hold it off for later, guess what? It ain't going to happen. It's triggered when you go to the planet. So let's grab Jolie. So we've got our two Jedi on board. Are you sure? I am sure. All right. <clears throat> Should have grabbed some water before I started. Ooh. Uh, oh, Jolie leveled up. That's what I forgot to do between last week and this week is check and see who leveled up. I, I didn't realize that. Um, oh, behold, all those skill points, all one of them. Yeah, I'm going to get your treat injury up a little bit more. Okay. And powers. Light uh, Valor, so we could crank up the Valor to Master, which would be nice. We could crank up the Force Immunity, which... Or the, uh... Improved Energy Resistance. You know what? As much as I really want to look at all the options and scroll through, we are on... <laughs> we're on Korriban, the planet of Dark Sith. So I'm thinking... Having at least one person, possibly two, with maxed out Force Immunity seems like a really good idea right now. So let's just go ahead and add that. Oh, he's got another power. All right, then improved energy resistance it is. Yes, please. I'll take both of them. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize that that... Wow, okay. Cool. You know what? Then before I forget, he's got the Jedi Knight robe, and yeah, okay. So it's gonna be the same no matter what. And yeah, I kind of figured the rest of that was the case. Everything else is good to go. Um, hmm. What about Jihani? Oh, yeah, no, she's got the better robes. Okay. Yep. Nope. Everybody's squared away. Everybody's armed and ready. Let's get the show on the road. All right, so. We now need to go talk to Master Uthar and do his major side questy thingy. Um pretty sure I've done all the shopping I need to do because I got a funny feeling the way this goes down we we might not have uh, an opportunity to revisit some of these shops so let's let's go ahead and oh hello if you must know I intend to take the first ship off this rock why should that interest you I trust you got whatever you wanted from the tombs uh... Why are you I already exactly? said, didn't I? Oh, I don't want right, to still right. be around when they start He's asking about to questions out about you. Okay. And where Why will you, you go? Care? I have no intention of opposing you. Perhaps you could go back to the Jedi. I did. I don't know. I'll think about it. Just leave me alone, Jahani. All right. How do you know? Why don't you ask her? Because I asked She you. and I were students together at Dantooine for a time. We were close, and we shared doubts about the Jedi's ways. I left for the Sith because I thought it would be better here. Uh, it looks like Jahani okay. changed her mind and stayed with the Jedi after all. You're doing, maybe? Anyway, I'm done with the Jedi, the Sith, and with her. Just leave me alone. Oh. Uh. Okay, then. Then leave me be. Johnny? Do you, do you have anything have to say about this? I have the thought oh, of no. that man still running free. You're still... I cannot stand still while I think about it, but... But I will not give in to the dark side, either. He will pay for his crimes, You're still going though. on about the slaver that we met two us. weeks ago. He we could find him yeah, first. Two weeks ago. Then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. Okay, then. That seems to be everything there. And, oh, the, the whole reason why we came here. 
I heard a disturbing rumor. A hunter matching your description is reported to have slain a crate dragon on Tatooine. His tongue was in you. me why why which hasn't been working out for me so well uh what business is it of yours if i hunt dragons uh no let's lean into it it was me i didn't mean to pry but the dragon is fierce and deadly beast a monster even one of your power would be smart to avoid oh, are you concerned if something should happen to you, if you are injured or even slain by such a beast, then Malak will never be toppled. Oh! Oh, you do care about Malak being toppled. Huh. Okay. I'm not scared of anything. I didn't have a choice, really. I can look after myself. I'm gonna go back with... I didn't have a choice, really. Right. I suppose if there is anyone in the galaxy who could reasonably expect to survive such an encounter, it would be you. Buttering me up. You're about to raise your prices, aren't you? <laughs> but if you're going to continue such reckless escapades, I would strongly recommend you stock up with weapons and armor from my inventory. Yep. Okay. There it is. There it is. There's the sales pitch. I see. I see. Alright. Let me see your premium items. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm sure you'll find my selection to be very interesting. Alright. Um... Yeah, that verpine fiber mesh looks really good, but that that's gonna wipe out a big chunk of our money. And it's not upgradable. The defense bonus will put us pretty much where we are. So, and I don't think any of my other medium armor folk could really do better than what that offers. I, I forgot to check on that. Mm. Short-term memory something or other. Bonden Alloy Heavy Suit. It's a heavy suit that requires late armor proficiency. Um, Not upgradable. Yeah, no, that's a negative Ghost Rider. Uh, because for my main character, it is actually going to decrease my defense and it's not upgradable and everybody that's got light armor has got better than that or at least some additional protection of some sort or another Jurgen Kulta's power suit oh yeah that's right I was supposed to check and see if Candorus was uh, how his armor was Do we have? Eh, it's already quarter after I won't play around if I miss it, I miss it. Um, yeah. Yeah. We have some strength gauntlets of some kind that I was thinking of. Yeah, there we go. Because right now I've got a plus two strength gauntlets on. And I could bump that up to plus five. So that is a pretty big bump. That's going to increase the damage output. Uh, that's not going to change the two hit unless it pushes my strength above my dex. But either way, that's a win. Um, so that's 22k. That's mm, that's about a third of our credits. And it is my understanding that the dude on Yevon Station uh, is going to have some better items when we go visit him this last time. So, you know what? Hmm. That g uh, that's also a third. Uh, I don't have enough people that have implant level three, so you know what? I'm just going to skip that. Hopefully I can visit it later off camera, and if not, well, I, I just missed it. All right. <clears throat> to the academy. Sorry if the voice is a little more raspy than usual. We are going through 30 degree temperature changes every day. Leaves you in the best of health. 
much like fighting this up. <laughs> no. All right, let's, um... I'm pretty sure he's going to make me do this without my party. Because he said last week when he mentioned the test that I was going to have to do it alone. So let me go take these guys up to the door. Because I don't think I can leave them outside the door. Take these guys here. Put it in solo mode. So they should stay there. Guys, don't get lost. All right. Because otherwise they might end up somewhere else. I got a bad feeling. <laughs> Quote a famous Star Wars figure. I got a bad feeling about this. All right, let me save game. Save, are you sure? Oh, yes. I am sure. Okay. All right, game is saved. So Master then, Uthar. I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of yep. Nagasado. Sorry. Your final test should not be delayed. All right. Uh, what is this tomb? What is the final test? I'm not sure these are questions I really should be asking of the Master, but let's go ahead and let's try it. What is this tomb of Nagasato? It is a tomb that belonged to an ancient Sith Lord. The greatest of Korriban Sith Lords, in fact. It is there that your test is performed. Oh. What is the final test? I will test? tell you the details when we are there, young one. Uh -huh. You will, sure you however, will. fight for your life. That is why I suggest you be in sufficient health. Okay. Let's do this. Then we go now. Oh, no. Wrong game. <laughs> I know. I, I don't think that meme is ever going to die. The day passes in preparation. Uthar then takes you and Uther to the Sith tomb. Your companions are not permitted to join you. Ominous music plays in the background. Even though I'm the size of you. Very the well. We are now side. ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed mm -hmm. you have. Is that a tone of mischief in your voice, dear Euthura? You should know by now that no scheme is certain. As should you, my master. But I was only agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? I don't understand. Why not just give me the saber? Yeah, no, that's probably not... <laughs> that, how very Sith-like of me. Um, can you tell me anything about what I will face? Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna gather that that's another one of those. Why are you asking me? That's how you get a Sith to... Sith slap you. Alright, can I leave the tomb? <laughs> yeah, right. We're not even going to bother with that question either. All right. Find the star map. Return with the lightsaber. Good. Euthera and I will await our return. I mean, that should be with the right hand, but I got the thing here. All right. Journal entry added. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. That's... Okay. Oh. All right. The map is upside down. Force wave it is. Flurry, flurry, force wave. Alright. 
I'm gonna keep on my own health. <laughs> okay. I was expecting that to go a little bit harder. Version of wood. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. The way the other teams are laid out, that is almost certainly my final test. So the question is left or right? Left or right? Ah, let's go to the right. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Famous last words. Alright. Uh, the dead bones are not ominous at all. Oh, not even a little bit. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm committed to this part. Whatever this is. Alright, we got rings, we got a computer terminal. And skeletal human remains. Blaster pistol. Okay. Nexter crystal. Always nice. And a cardio package. Yeah. Let's take those. Is that cardio package better than what I already got? Oh, never mind. I got the uh, combat immune to critical hits and awareness. Okay. Cardio package just gives me plus, plus one to con. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Let me guess, this door is not going to open either? This door is locked and will not open at the moment. Alright. There are three pillars that have electronic readouts showing the energy levels of four systems. The controls show that these systems can be transferred to other pillars. Caution, some of the systems are very delicate and improper transfer of power can cause an electrical overload. In order to unseal the chamber, all of the following four systems must be transferred to the right pillar. Top, may be transferred to any pillar safely without fear of overload. Mid upper, the system causes an overload if transferred to a pillar with an active top system. Mid lower. This system may only safely be transferred to another pillar that has either no systems or only the base system. Base system. This large system may only be transferred to a blank pillar with no systems active in it or it will cause an overload. Okay, remember all those rules folks. Remember, a system may be transferred to another pillar if it is the only active system on that pillar or it is the last one listed. Alright, uh, active systems, left pillar, base, mid, lower, mid, upper, top, and nothing is on the right or the middle. Okay. Uh, mm, okay. Stop adjusting controls, press the reset, see how the pillars work again. Um, Alright, let's move a system from the left pillar. To which pillar do you want to power? Alright, the top system had to not have anything active, so let's toss that on the middle. Okay. Yada yada yada. Alright, move from... Okay. The mid-upper needs to go with one that doesn't have an active top. Let's move from the left to the right. Transfer. Okay. Um, now I need to have the upper clear for the mid-lower, so 
Let's see. Uh, let's go from. Let's clear the upper and move from the middle to the right. Okay. Now, let's go from... Right, it's got to be something without an active top, so let's move from the middle, from the left to the middle again. one listed and I got to get that top system off to move the middle around so we'll go from the right pillar back to the left pillar okay and then from the right pillar to the middle. Okay. And then... Alright, it's the last one listed. Alright, so we're going to get the... Sorry, I got the rules written down over on the side here so that way I can follow this. I kind of figured that would be useful. Uh, from going to be the last one listed, so from the left to the middle. Yes, okay. Now, we're going to get the base, so we're going to go from the left to the right. gonna get from the uh, oh yeah yeah it'd have to be there in the middle I just moved that over to the right so we'll go from the middle To the right. Yes. Yes. And then from the middle to the left. I gotta get that top one off, uh, off of the right. Oop. Cancel this action. Alright. I'm gonna stop clicking on stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, is So I gotta move from the right. Yeah. Which means I can now move from the middle. Right. And then I can get from the left to the middle. So that's gonna move the top which has to be the last one on. And then from the left to the right. And then I can move from the middle to the right. Yes. Go towers of successfully transferred to the right-hand pillar. The room has been unsealed. And there is much rejoicing. Yay.
And there was much saving. Yay. Okay. Okay. Save that beautiful footage. Oh. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's... Ooh, we got a lot of those. That to use. Interleaving those. Seriously? What just blew up? And how am I not getting any raid plates? I know somebody that pays dearly for those. Alright. Alright, so we got a monument to Nagasato. And... Oh, usually there's other stuff. Oh, skeletal human remains. Let's do that first. And we got a strength amplifier. I wonder if that's the same one I was trying to buy earlier. <laughs> An assault gun and a cinnamon carbine. Oh, sorry. Senegarian carbine. Mm, cinnamon carbine. No. That sounds like a pastry. Alright, let me, uh... Oh. It's the same one I already have. Never mind. And Nagasato's Poison Blade. Yes, please. Is that better than what we got? I mean... Alright, we're plus 20 to hit and 7 to 26 for damage. With uh, some Blaster Bolt Deflection bonuses. And... yeah. That is plus 21 to hit, but lower damage. 22 to hit. Lower damage. Well, ish. Higher floor, lower ceiling. Yeah. Alright, let's cancel that then. You know what, we'll stick with what we got. It's been working quite nicely, thank you very much. And that's it for that way. I guess Poison Blade could be useful. I kind of wish I had a melee character that wasn't uh, using a lightsaber. Because then I'd feel a little less bad about equipping something like that. That is almost certainly... Yeah, that's got to be the test over there. So let's find out what other items we can get from over here. Like some skeletal human remains. Seems to be a lot of those in the Sith testing grounds. <laughs> Med pack, a verpine droid disruptor. 450 bucks. Yes, please. And a data pad. Alright, uh, show the new items. Oh, an extra crystal. The... Hmm. Eh. Oh, but it does physical damage too. Nice. Yeah, most of those are, uh, not that useful. Alright, this data pad appears to be the journal of a Sith who quite obviously did not make it past this portion of his final test. Most of the journal consists of the Sith's account of gaining enough prestige with Master Uthar to take this test. Only the final entry appears to concern the test itself. It seems I ne need to get across the pool of... Oh, there's a pool of acid. Okay. I need to get across the pool of acid in the central chamber if I am to complete my test here. But that is not going to be easy. The runes name one obelisk the Pillar of Fire, while the other is the Pillar of Ice. I can only assume that one of the pillars leads to a way to remove the acid pool. Fire or ice? Wouldn't fire create 
toxic fumes. Okay, game. If you want to hint, I just want you to know, hints should be subtle. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe freezing the pool would be safer. I'll, I'll worry about that once I bypass the beasts. If I can. I suppose it's now or never. Hmm. I wonder how that ended. Said the man standing over his skeleton. Okay, so there's beasties in there. And grenades that we're going to need for the apparent pool of acid that we'll have to cover later. Lovely. Uh -oh. Here come the cinematics. Hello, beastie. Uh, all right, um, I wonder, can I do this in a way that only gets me one of them at a time? Let's try that. Uh, let's, let's forget the concussion grenade. Uh, let's try one of the cryoban grenades. Never mind. Here they both come. Ooh, actually, you know what? This seems like a perfect time. Not the energy shield. Thought I had one of the other ones. Adrenal clarity. Uh, clarity. Oh, I guess all I got is the energy shield. Go ahead and pop one of those. And then we'll hit some force wave and some boots. We'll go from there. Should have saved after that last go round. This is about to go bad, isn't it? Oh. stimulus because uh, I think we're gonna need all the fighting <laughs> oh my oh my some force uh, points there, good sir. <sighs> well, okay then. Boop. That works. And you know what? Since we clearly forgot to do it before walking into that, let's go ahead and save that beautiful progress. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. That was kind of close. That was cutting it a little bit closer than I really wanted to. All right, so we got a lever. We got some remains. Let's see if the remains have anything useful to say about the lever. We got a journal and a crystal. Okay. 
Iron Crystal is a lightsaber upgrade. An artifact of true light side power. Only those Jedi who are pure in spirit can wield a lightsaber equipped with this gleaming white gem. When the great Jedi Master Ud Benar initiated his life cycle change after a thousand years of serving the Order. Okay. Huh. This data pad is the personal journey of the Jedi Shalia Nir. Her last entry is particularly compelling. I have tracked the Terentech that ambushed us in the Shirek Cave. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Star Wars? Uh, caves to this tomb. But even as I stand at the entrance, I know this is wrong. Dark thoughts fill my mind. Hatred and vengeance. I cannot stop myself from blaming Gun Han for Durin's death. If he had not abandoned us, my love would surely have survived the first attack. But my hatred of Gun Han pales beside my burning desire for revenge. My blood boils to destroy the creature that ended Durin's life, no matter what the cost. I know such thoughts are those are. I know such thoughts are those of the dark side, but I cannot help them. Even the second set of tracks outside the cave cannot dissuade me from my task. One Terentech, two, a thousand. It makes no difference to me now. The only image I see is that of Durin's broken body, and only blood can cleanse it from my mind. I hope my master will forgive me for what I am about to do. Well then. Uh, kind of wish that there was a uh, workbench to fit that crystal in here. Uh, okay, our door was over there. What else we got over this way? Alright. Can I open the door without the lever? Uh, oh. The door is locked and will not open at the moment. And apparently my awareness is too low. <laughs> I can see the lever, but I can't see the poison. Okay. Let's hit that lever. See how it goes. Uh, will you open now? Open now. Alright, so we got the pillar of... Okay, there's our two pillars. Some bones. Some bones. And then let us take both of them, or just one? Pillar of Ice. Special cold grenade. Ooh, yes please. And your fire has special fire grenade. Naturally. Alright. So we have <coughs> managed all the remains. I dare say we've looted everything we could possibly loot. Gotten all the items this place could give us. So let us save the game one more time because that last one was kind of mm, I gotta remember to keep an eye on my health uh, I forget that uh, <laughs> these battles are the ones that are adjusted to your level so they are of an appropriate difficulty oh good the acid pool has a convenient interface a dangerous looking pool of acid has flooded the room Launch the special fire grenade, launch the special cold grenade, ignore it, and back away. Now, the journal very helpfully said that the fire grenade would probably create poisonous gas, and as we've already noted, I am not immune to poison. Since I ran into that poison grenade and went, oh, I've been poisoned. Let's launch the special cold grenade at it. The pool freezes over. It is now walkable. Items lost. Yes, the grenade that I threw into the pool of acid. All right. Are you kidding me? Why do I keep missing these things? Oh, because I did. Was my awareness? I don't even want to know. Do I? Uh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Note to self. Next time, invest more ranks in awareness. <laughs> Two whole ranks with a bonus of five brings us to seven. Guess what we are not aware of? Any of these doggone minds or anything. Yeah, so you know what? I, I guess in retrospect, now that, I, now that I've played it, um, for the main character, I definitely crank up the awareness, keep the treat injury ratcheted up, probably, and maybe, maybe ratchet up persuade? Because as much as I love having a high demolitions and computer use, because that has come in handy, you do get a couple of people in your party that have high computer use and demolitions, and uh, and you might be you might just be better leaning on them because awareness helps you obviously survive long enough to do the rest of the game. Persuade helps you with a lot more of those uh, uh yeah, per well persuade attempts and that sort of thing. Yeah, I like having the high repair because it's given me some options without having a swap out crew. But again, that's one of those things that you come, you, you do acquire a crewman fairly quickly with a high repair skill. Because I want to say T3 it was had a really high computer use and repair and security. And so that would actually take care of those. Treat injuries, one of the ones that you really want to have set up on yourself. Persuade. It doesn't do any good to have a minion with a high persuade. They're not talking to anybody. You are. So I, if I were doing this again, or if I had the ability to rebuild right now, like cash in all my points and then rebuild it again, I would definitely double down on treat, keep the treat injury high, add far more to persuade and awareness, and then fill in from there. Oh, a star map. And bodies? If they made it this far, why are there bodies? Was that when they came down? Um. Oh yeah, whopping 250 XP. Too bad that doesn't level up along with you. <laughs> All right. So that is our last part of the star map. And I'm guessing that our lightsaber is here in the Sith statue. Yes, there is our Sith lightsaber. Out of curiosity. Better than what I'm toting right now. Oh, no. that That's, uh... <laughs> 2 to 16... Yeah, that's got to be a rock standard basic lightsaber. Uh, this lightsaber is quite intricate in its design. The hilt covered in delicate runes and laid black markings. No doubt the purpose of the weapon is primarily ceremonial. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I guess it's special in that... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's got a special handle, but that's about it. I might swap the other stuff out just to, because maybe the core is a little bit different. But as you can see, I don't exactly have a workbench to do that in here. There's nothing else to eat. So let us save yet again. Save, save, save one more time. So we don't have to redo any of that. Oh, it would have been nice to have fought those two beasts. Yes! Star map discovered. And now we get to see who we've managed to out treachery. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. Served you, you took well. a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no wow. pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. 
This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? <laughs> the Sith are the only ones who fight and take risks. Are you saying a Jedi couldn't have gotten a lightsaber? I wouldn't say I exert. <laughs> yes. Let's be overconfident. I wouldn't say I exerted myself getting this. I don't believe you. I don't feel superior to anyone. I think I understand. And let's poke, poke the bear a little bit. Are you saying a Jedi couldn't when a Jedi have gotten lasers? It is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of I got this through peace. Too? Did your passions not no. flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What no, I felt very near dead a couple of times. I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. The Sith aren't the only well, ones true, who fight and take but risks. Most would say they fight only when they must, or not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. Should, should we really be standing on the pool of frozen acid while we debate philosophy? Alright, uh... Which one's gonna get this conversation moving then? Since we keep seem to be coming back. Uh, I wouldn't Perhaps say I exert myself. to someone of your natural strength. The point is in the recognition of the okay. nature of the act, rather than its sheer difficulty. Alright, uh... Yeah, I don't feel If superior. you came to the academy, you must Is have felt get the someone? stirrings within you that cry out for the freedom of the dark side. That cry out for release. I can only no, show you the path the that will lead that cried to out power for and the fifth superiority. Star. You have followed it this far. <laughs> you must decide if you are capable of continuing. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not... This is where your path ends, young one. Uh. There is no turning back once you have embarked on it. Alright, so looks like the only option I have that moves this conversation along is I think Lord, I understand. The last part of your test will now commence. Will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the Why natural do I get the feeling I know exactly how this is going to go? To stand still is to know death. One must always Who do you be want me to treachery? So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die. Compete or die. Mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves no, you in this final I, test I want you to, to strike die. down one you are familiar with, for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. Hmm. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. You talk too much, old fool. So, you know, do you? Well, it makes no difference. You have become too hmm. ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die. Begin with, uh, should we be doing this on the frozen acid to before it thaws? My pupil stands with me. Sadly, Euthura, it is you who are mistaken. Your pupil is more ambitious than you realize. Well, I, I have been Isn't playing the two against each other, and I guess it comes down to it. Uh, do I side with Euthura? Do I side with Euthura? Do I side with myself? Although saying I choose me sounds a little more dark side than I want, and I really don't want the dark side points. I'm tired of playing along with you, Sith the scum. You both die. That sounds a little dicey for a solo action, so... Might be risking some points on this, but... I'm pretty sure Euthura is weaker than Uthar. So if the two of us team up, we can definitely take him down, and I'm sure I can take her down. Do you hear that? If it comes master? down to it. That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? I, w I will. Oh, no. Yeah. My strength leaves yeah. me. You are Bath salts. <laughs> and the force oh, has abandoned poison. you. We have made sure of it. All right. Uh, bam. Bam. You know what, the way this has been going, I'll probably need that too. Oh wait, actually, you know what I need to do? I need to go ahead and let's get that energy shield going. Because I don't have any of those protective force powers. Then we'll hit that. Then we'll hit that. And then I will almost certainly need that. This is the last star map. Ooh, a 
Stunned. Get him all stunned. Keep getting him so close. Oh, dirty Unfortunately, I don't need. I don't. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah. my blood is burning. <laughs> I did what I have to do. Oh, that must be the poison kicking in finally. Uh, as tempting as that second option is, the first one is definitely a little more the way I've been playing. Damn. So. You will never be a Sith now. I will destroy you for this. You will not you leave, will not here, leave alive. here alive. Okay. Um. Well, shoot. Advanced med bag, med bag. Life support pack. All right, come on. Give me the option. Life support pack. Um. Where's the hyper battle stimulant? Bam. All right. Give that a shot. Let's keep the healing up a little bit more then. Oh. Stop. I healed. You are too strong for me. <laughs> Gather your hatred and strike me down if that is your No, no, no. You gotta say it with a little more rumbling. Heal the hatred. I have no problem with that die. I have no other choice. I'm sorry. Oh, I've been sparing everybody else. Go on, get As out of I here. Thought, you are no Sith. A real Sith would have no hesitation in striking me down. Good point. Time to die. No. I am no Sith, and I'm glad of it. I'm showing you mercy. Don't push it. Uh... Nope. Then I hope Go. you got what you came to the Academy for, whatever that was. I was right the first time back at the cantina, wasn't I? Hmm. There is something strange about you. More so than I even suspected. Your path leads elsewhere to a destiny I can only guess at. Whatever it is does not involve joining the Sith. Not yet, at least. Go then. Go and leave here. I'll not stop you. Ooh, nice side points. By the way, probably Uthar had some good stuff on him, right? Yes, he had 3k. 
A nice war suit, a security domination interface. Okay. Um, can I still talk to you? Can I try to... No? I was hoping I could kind of convince you to go to the light side, but... Maybe not. Alright, while you hobble out, let me actually... Let's see. So I tried Darth Wannabe's fiber armor. Uh, wait, what was my dex again? Yeah, dex was a plus three. So with Darth Wannabe's armor, that got me to a ten. Twenty-four, nine. Oh. That is medium armor. And same. But it gives me damage resistance against Sonic. Beak. Uh, I know she... I didn't kill her. I killed Uther. I I had heard that she could be redeemed, but I... I, I get... Yeah, you end up fighting her no matter what you do. That that part, uh, it, it's pretty obvious the way the game plays out. Um, unfortunately, it looks like uh, I couldn't, I couldn't redeem her. Uh, I'm not sure what I did wrong to not be able to do that though. But yeah, I, I really did want to redeem her to to finish up the whole light side thing. But um, uh, I guess it just wasn't uh, wasn't in the. Wasn't in the cards this go around. Hmm. Security for one of my droids. This is actually my first time playing the game. It's one of those things that I had been putting off for quite some time. Uh, my brother-in-law, Arcadius, has been recommending it to me for a long time. And uh, when I wanted to start a series called Games Revisited. Uh, yeah, th this has been a really fun game. Unfortunately, the biggest plot twist was kind of ruined by the fact that I played uh, the Knights of the Old Republic MMO before before playing this game. So the the twist that your Darth Revan was kind of kind of like I hit the end of it. it the game crashed. Oh. Oh, and the game crashed. All right, let me see if I can get this going back. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do that fight again. All right, maybe I can maybe I can work the work the discussion magic a little bit better. Shoot. All right, yeah, it was an amazing revelation, and I, I can definitely see where if you'd never played it before, if you never played the MMO before, it, it is an amazing bit of storytelling. Um. There's rumors that they want to turn this story into um, into uh, a trilogy, and that they might get the guys who worked on the Game of Thrones book to TV series to work on this, which I kind of hope so because they they do really good when they have existing material to work off of. Not so much when they so, don't. You return to us with the lightsaber. All right, so let's see if I can do this differently because the game crashed and that was where I last saved. You took a great risk oh. in acquiring the artifact. Right. You used your mind mm. and your sometimes yada, yada, that yada. is the All right, let's skip straight to the I Go. think I understand this the time. The last part of your test will now commence. All life must come. So yada, it is yada. the same amongst them. So it will relevant. Lead you in this normally it is you talk. So no. Okay. Sadly, Euthura, it is you who are mistaken. Your pupil is more Let's ambitious see. than you realize. Isn't that so, young one? Um. <laughs> yeah, because if I side with Uther, I can't turn her because we end up killing her. And if I pick either of those two, it's almost certainly going to pit me against the two of them together. And given the way Uther just about took me out with help, I don't think that's going to work. So I guess I'm going to have to go side with her again. That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. Yeah, so the yeah. time has come, has it? Right. I, w 
You are weak, Uther. And the yep. force has abandoned Poison, you. Yada, yada. We have made Okay. Uh, let's get the battle thingy up. Let's get a shield. And let's get Okay, let's get the hyper stimulant going and I don't think the force wave was actually doing anything to him. But I'll go ahead and throw one in there just just in case. And then we'll go back to our flurry. I'm probably gonna have that anyway. Alright. Do two flurries and a heal. Oh, that went quicker. That went a lot quicker. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can handle this differently. Alright. Yeah, oh, that must be the poison kicking in finally is almost certainly not the way to turn her. So let's I do what I had to do. You will never be. I will, I will destroy you for this. this. You will never be here alive. Oh, alive. not here, you here alive. Okay. Uh, I still got the shield and all that stuff going on, so let's throw one of these. And bump in some flurries. That definitely works on it. Alright. I healed. You are too strong. This has got to be. Gather There's got to be a better way to handle this one. Alright. Those first two are almost certainly going to kill her, so that's not going to turn her, so let's go As on, I get thought, out of here. You are no Sith. A Sith. real Sith would have no hesitation in striking me down. Alright. Uh, you don't need to poison her, but it does help. Alright, good point. Time to die is gonna kill her. That's right, I am no Sith. I'm glad of it. Or I'm showing you mercy. Don't push it. One of those two's gotta be it, because I can't do that just go definitely didn't work the last time. So let's try I am no Sith and glad of it. I hope you got what you came to I was right the first time back at the cantina, wasn't I? There is something strange about you. More so More than so I even suspected. suspected. Your path leads elsewhere to a destiny I can only guess at. Whatever it is does not involve joining the Sith. Not yet, at least. Go then. Go and leave here. I'll not stop you. Ah. Uh, well, I still got the lay side points. I wasn't able to turn, though. That sucks. Alright, you know what? So the game doesn't crash again. Let me go ahead and save. Or in case the game crashes again. Let me save now. Yeah, I, I'm... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be any way to make that happen. Which sucks. Maybe it was something I, I should have done earlier that I missed. Uh, maybe more conversations I had to have with her. I did, I did kind of flirt with her beforehand. And I thought I'd had all the conversations you could have with her. I must have missed one somewhere. Alright. Well, hooray for the game not crashing. Uh, those should all still be looted. Yep, those are all still looted. Alright. Did everybody turn on me now? Okay, good. I ain't playing around with any of you fools. Let's, uh, let's beat feet and get out of here. Y'all aren't bothering me. I'm not gonna bother you. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Where what is do you that have to say? blasted transport crew? We're supposed oh. to send off the next shipment of artifacts right okay. away. Never mind then. Let's just mosey right along. Okay, sorry about that. Might have to grab a glass of water in a minute. Oh, 
let's uh let's see how things go with the academy first so far nobody's that mad at me Let's turn solo mode. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I want solo mode off. Hi guys. All right. I guess they're. Uh, I guess they're gonna be fine with me. Sweet. Um. I wonder if she's over in her quarters and we can try to turn her then. Let's see, she was this way and back here? No, I think that was Karth's kid. Yeah. And that was somebody else that we either turned or saved. Her quarters must have been this way. There she is. Your destiny does not lie with this Sith. At least not yet. The Academy is mine now. I trust you won't be remaining long, correct? Ah. Okay. Alright. I tried. That's sad. I thought for sure we could have managed it in the end. Alright. Um, although, on the other hand, we're far enough in the game that I don't really have a Jedi Enclave to send her back to. Uh, but that didn't stop me from sending some of the others. I don't know. I'll have to think on that. Alright, either way, now that we got the last star map, I am going to make one quick trip to the Yavin Station. Uh, sell some gear, do some of that, and, and then go from there. I, yeah, I really need to double check what everybody's got for armor and weapons, and I'll probably do that off camera just because that gets a little tedious. Okay, if, uh, first you have to ask her about, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That... I thought I did do... Oh... I wonder if that was one of the, the persuade options that I failed. Because I know I failed a couple of persuade options throughout the uh, Sith Academy. There was a couple of talking points that I just... My persuade wasn't high enough. And I'm wondering now if that's one of them. I'll have to go back and uh, check on that later. If that is, that, that kind of sucks. But that'd be good to know for others. Alright, um... Alright, just out of curiosity. What's he got on there? Oh, no. Nah, never mind. He's got far better armor than anything uh, that other dude was offering. So, yep, yep. Everybody's good. <laughs> now, we did pick up a lightsaber crystal. And... Do, do we not have the the Sith lightsaber? I thought we did. We do. Oh, is that not upgradable? Um, yeah, upgradable is not listed on the things. It is a lightsaber. Because, I mean, it sounds like it's cool hilt even though it doesn't really make that big a difference. Alright, lightsaber... Yeah. Huh. Alright. So, I picked up a couple of crystals like that. Ooh. Ooh, yes please. An attack bonus of three. Bonus versus dark side. An extra three damage. So attack three, damage three, and a bonus against dark side uh which one of these two do I want so what did I have in there before the generics generics so that increases blaster bolt deflection and an extra 
two damage. All right, and the other side I had the sigil. That's uh, an extra one to the attack and one d6 bonus damage. I'd rather take a flat three than one d6. So let's go ahead and add that right there. Although. Blaster Bolt Deflection, and an extra 2 damage, and there was another crystal I had picked up somewhere along the way, right? Um, attack bonus of 1 and Keen. Um, hmm. 2d6 on massive criticals. Uh, physical damage, always nice. Attack bonus 2. And a bonus damage to droids. Back to... Damage to... Nah. I'll leave it on what I've got right there. But we will assemble that. Okay. And... That should be fully upgraded, right? Yep. That should be fully upgraded, right? Yep. That should be fully upgraded. And that? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about the rest because I got all that pretty well squared away. Um, we've had all our conversations with everybody else. Alright. Let's head over to the Yavin side of things. Alright. Uh, let me first hit save. Because the game has been crashing. I, I really wonder if it's an interaction with the streaming software. Um, but when I travel, sometimes it crashes. And I'm actually going to switch this over to desktop capture. Because, again, that, that is one of those things that seems to prevent it from crashing if it switches into some of the animations. So we're going to head over to Yavin real quick, because we got a little bit of unfinished business there. I kind of wish there was a way to turn off the... Uh, the switch to these videos just because I mean I like them they're happy and it's great the first time through but I mean how many times of flying away from the planet do you need to see and the move to hyperspace mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> oh man alright let's see if the videos are done nope one more we get to see the entry to Yavin one more time. And as soon as the video is done, I'll switch it back to the camera and game like I've had before. some trouble with a couple of Trandosians the last time. They did promise to be back. Major game events have transpired. So I'm pretty sure the Trandosians are going to be back again. And this time, things might get ugly. So, who do I want with me? Um... Jolly's got some pretty good force powers, although he is a weak fighter, so maybe... Jahani's got some heals and defensive powers. And she doesn't die quick, so let's go ahead and add her. And as much as I like Karth and um, Mission, I'm probably going to want to take either HK or Candorous, just because I, I need a brawler. 
Or I usually like to have a brawler handy, so let, let's take HK. Let's add him. Okay. Alright, here we go. Down the interminable hallway we go. Oh, we're gonna have to hit every door again. We're gonna have to hit every door again. I mean, I, I understand story-wise why they made you do it the first time, but really, it would be nice to not have to hit 82 airlocks. <laughs> okay, I was just taking a look at a few things, few things, new things I thought you would like, and... <laughs> How did you get in here? Yeah, this is looking like trouble. We have our ways, Rudy, and just because you didn't hear us talk doesn't mean we can't in our own... Oh, and your own stealth units have proven most effective. That's just dirty, using the... <laughs> Alright, um... What do you want? Get away? Haven't I told you guys to get lost? I'll uh, just be going now. Or force persuade. I'm pretty sure I know what they want, but... You know what? Let's try to end this quick. I want to get to shot. Nope. Oh, I think not. Not this time. We're here to teach you a lesson. And you as well. Unfortunately, you won't live to correct your mistakes. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Come on. Alright. Um, there's two back there. He's here. He's here. There's a few of them. Alright, so let's do this. Let me hit him with my last cryo grenade. I wonder why the stasis field keeps being... Oh! Oh! Because I get the armor on. Dang it. Alright, fine. I will hit you with a force wave and we'll double down on that. Alright, you. Why are you so far behind in the door? I'm not complaining at the moment. Can you reach that guy over there? Can you reach that guy over there? You can reach that guy over there. And you've got stasis. And you can hit that guy there with stasis. And that guy there with a force wave and a power attack. What you got for me? Oh, you are also all back of the room and stuff. Good. Uh, we'll see if we can hit you with stuns and go from there. Alright. Yes! Let's do this. Oh! That's pretty dirty. Let's reassess real quick. Let's get a heal in there. Do another force wave and a couple of flurries. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let's do the heal. Let's try to hit him with a concussion grenade. And then do the force wave and a flurry. He's doing okay. She's got her force powers all set. Those guys are down. We just got this guy in the corner. Alright, let's power attack him. Matter of fact, let's get these two to double down on him. I need you. Fine. Focused over there. All right. So far, so good. He's down. These two are headed towards where? You. You. Yeah, we'll 
well the concussion grenade that way. And head for him. Let's get you to double down on that way. Throw a, con throw a concussion grenade that way. And then head for him. Oh, seriously? I was not expecting you to run all the way up there for that. But okay. Oh, come on. Big guy. All right. Those Trandoshan scum, they couldn't get more out of me, so they tried to kill me instead. That means you're going to give me better prices, right? Hopefully I'll have time before they send someone else to investigate. Maybe rig their ship to take off somewhere else. That could be good. That might be smart. Thank you for your help, at least. I knew I couldn't have taken them on my own. Oh, that means you're going to give me better prices, right? I'll let you look at my special stash. It's the stuff I wasn't showing them. It won't be cheap, but if you want it, you can buy it. I'm not asking for it to be cheap. I am asking, you know, since I just saved your hide, can I get something, you know, really nice? Like... Ooh. Lightsaber upgrade mantle of force. Hmm. Okay. Special upgrade item lightsaber. Uh, that's twenty five K. We can do it. Uh the yeah, I did the Tatooine swoop racing, and I just haven't finished the Manon swoop racing. I, I'm I've got the last race to finish, and I know that'll help with the um, that'll help with the money too. Because um, I think most of the stuff was already on there, like the shield disruptor, the stun ray, and the flamethrower. I think I've already got one of those for all the guys, but I'm gonna have to. I'm definitely going to have to go through and check what my people have for most of this. Because uh, I'm pretty sure... Oh, medium armor. And it's upgradable? I can do medium armor, 9, 10, 11, so that would bump up... That would, no matter what, it's going to bump up my defense just a little bit. And it would bump con bump strength, and then whatever else happens with that. But that is 20k. That is a full third of what I got. Uh, seven. So that's going to give me the same, but stealth. Eh. And I already ruled out the late exoskeleton the last time. Environmental Bastion Armor. Okay. Medium armor. Same armor, same defense bonus. But it's upgradable and it's immune to cold fire and sonic. Mm, yeah, I'll have to do some checking on a lot of that. But um, Mantle of the Force and Heart of the Guardian. I know those are ones that I'm definitely going to want to buy. Because these seem to be... These seem like something that you're only going to get from completing this quest line. The Heart of the Guardian. Though its origins have been lost, the legendary artifact known as the Heart of the Guardian was rumored to have been instrumental in the founding of the Guardian Order of Jedi. 
Nothing further is mentioned in any Jedi archive, but both Sith and Jedi whisper their own legends. According to the Jedi, the heart will appear in a time of great turmoil and deliver the galaxy into salvation. The Sith, however, believe it to be an object of their heritage, which will bring the galaxy under their dominion. There's one... There's uh, this one quest that carries on all plan. Um, hmm. Must have missed it. I'll have to check the quest log real quick, though, just to see if there's something I... Oh, oh, um, yeah, I, there, there's a, I haven't done the, the, the gang thing. I, you're supposed to meet the dude on Manon, and that starts it where you kind of go from place to place transporting drugs, and I, I didn't do that line just because I wasn't sure if that was going to result in any dark side points, and I'm trying to avoid those this go around if I can. Um, yeah, yeah, there, there is a big one. Um, I'm... I may have to look and see what items in it, see if it's worth it, but, uh... Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get the Heart of the Guardian. I'm definitely gonna get the Mantle of the Force. Uh, the Mantle of the Force is an item assembled by Suvam Tam... Tan? Tan. From pieces found in the ruins of Exar Kun's temples on the fourth moon orbiting Yavin, it appears to be the remains of an even older artifact of unknown origin. It's not known if it was used by Exar Kun or just uncovered when his temples were destroyed. Nor is, it's nor is it known what the original properties of the item were. But given the current abilities and its original state, it must have been fearsome indeed. The mantle is a crystalline lattice resembling a lightsaber crystal in many ways, but having the additional properties of being able to radically alter the flow of energy that passes through it. When combined with other crystals, the mantles warp their properties, often enhancing them to incredible levels. Additionally, the mantle seems to almost act as a focusing tool for force-sensitive individuals, leading to the idea that the original artifact may once have been a powerful tool of the Sith, or perhaps something they took with them when the Dark Jedi originally split from the Order. Yes, please. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the cell list and see what we have to <laughs> to free up uh, free up some free up some credits. All right, yeah. Let me get rid of the med packs. I don't need the basic ones anymore because I got the life support and the advanced. I'll hang on to the antidote kits, but I only need about twenty of those. I probably only need about ten. Um, yeah. Let's cut that down to ten. All right, we're gonna keep the repair kit and the construction kit, but we can get rid of the regular repair kit. Keeping the security spikes and the parts, and we've already established nobody needs the Dark Jedi Knight robe. Nobody needs the Jedi Knight robe. Um, hmm. Yet nobody needs the ceremonial armor. Yeah, I really do want to sell it. Um, you know what? Before I go through here, I should probably definitely go through everybody's gear and make sure that I've got everybody equipped as tough as they can be. So let me close this for now. Uh, ooh, what do you have on you for loot? <laughs> Thousand bucks. Could have used that a minute ago. Alright. What about your buddies there? Come on guys, let me walk by. Alright, what you get on you? What you doing? Thousand bucks. Yeah, I definitely could have used that. Well, I can still use that. Antidote kits and thermal detonators. Uh, the map shows that doesn't go anywhere, so I'm not going to worry about trying to open that. Guys, seriously. Alright. Same over here. What you got? Thousand bucks. 
All right, making my money back. Just <laughs> one corpse at a time. All right, what else we got? Some remains that remained over here. A thousand bucks. Okay. Please tell me this whole crew is worth about 5k. All right. Uh, well, no, it should be 5k. All right, there's four. Plus the other junk they had on there. And that's five. All right. Okay. That's not as bad. Oh. Oh, there's it. Two, four. Yeah. Okay. Am I missing anybody? There was the two dudes back here. We got that dude there. We got that dude there. And that dude up there. Alright. I guess we got them all. Alright. Let me go ahead and save the game. And what I am going to do is off camera. I am going to go ahead and um, off camera I'm going to go through all the gear make sure that everybody is geared up and all the gears as upgraded as it can be. Um, that it gets kind of boring after a little while so I try to keep that sort of thing to a minimum on the channel. Uh, what I am going to do instead is get ready to wrap this up. I'm going to go ahead and say thank you. Oh, let me save that real quick before I... Uh, get too much further just to make sure okay so this is where i'm gonna say thank you for joining along i hope you had fun i do this every thursday at 6 p.m u.s eastern and uh there we go that's what i was looking for all right i do this every thursday at 6 p.m u.s eastern we are going to be uh once i get all the equipment squared away uh, we're going to be heading off to uh, to the Star Forge. I know that there is one other place in between here and the Star Forge. I don't know all the details of it. I I've just been told to uh, to be prepared for one more stop. So we're looking at two, possibly three more weeks, and then we get to change games. Uh, so I'll have a little bit more detail on what games next week because I need to double check and make sure that uh, the streaming software is going to play nice with the emulators I need to run to make this game happen. And uh, Thursdays, games revisited. Right now we're going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. we got something new coming up after that. And uh, yeah, I, I keep pretty busy. I've got a full-time job. I'm trying to uh, trying to get into the streaming thing. And hopefully trying to be able to turn that into a part-time gig, maybe even full-time eventually, but that, that's going to be further on down the road. I also do a stream on th on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and uh, that I play Minecraft with uh, my sister, Rayest, and her husband, Arcadius. The three of us founded a server we're calling CoffeeCraft, and we do that on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and... Uh, if you're watching live, I got links to the YouTube channel down below in the description where I keep archives of all the live streams. And hopefully I'm going to have some live, some produced videos uh, coming out soon. I had originally planned on doing that at the start of this month, but my mom got a new job and I've been helping her pack on the weekends. So that's kind of cut down a lot of my, uh, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of my spare time. Um, but now that, now that the move, yeah this weekend she's finally uh finishing up the move so a lot of lifting a lot of packing a lot of hustle and then uh and then i'll be able to get the uh the video production and done Oof, 30 hours a week yeah i remember those days full course load full-time work <sighs> i wish you the best of luck and with that, I am going to sign off. If you are watching this uh, later on in the replay on the YouTube channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of when other stuff come up. And links to Twitch and Mixer are down in the description below so you can watch live. Have fun. Enjoy. I hope to see you all next time.